Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create one normal map, so bake out to one normal map from both a bump and a normal map combined. So I'll show you in this example. Here I've got a nice crystal texture and it's just a basic PBR. So we've got a normal map here, a roughness and a color going into our principal shader. The problem comes when I want to add a bump. So let's say I want these crystals to be slightly bumpy with something like a noise texture. So I've got a noise texture here and that's plugged into a bump and I've got my normal map plugged into the normals. So the noise texture looks like this. I'm pressing Control Shift with the Node Wrangler installed and left clicking on the node and it shows me what it looks like. Let's go back to our principal shader. So I want this noise texture to be added as a bump. So that's going into the height information and the normal map is going into the normals information. And then if I hook this up, you can see I've now got bumpy crystals based on the noise combined with the normal map of the crystals. It's worth pointing out that when you're combining textures like this, the distance will affect the strength of this noise texture. So if I put the distance up now, it creates more bump from the noise. But I quite like the look of that, so I put mine at 0.4. So quite often you want this sort of technique. Let's say you've baked out a normal map from a high poly mesh onto a low poly mesh. That's a common workflow. But there might be a case where you had left out some details in your high poly mesh. Maybe they were too fine to sculpt, such as skin pores or slight scratches somewhere. And you wanted to add a bit more in a bump map. And you can paint on some sort of bump map if you like. So then you combine them both into a bump, but you want to then bake them out into one single normal map for your game engine. Now you'd think the easy way to do this would be to create a new texture, which I'll do down here, create new, test, normals, and I'll just leave everything at its default, press OK, there's my texture ready. I need to bring it into my node editor, so let's Shift D to duplicate this, and then change it to test normals. So now I've got that image ready for baking in my node editor. So I should be able to go across to the render panel, down to the bottom, where baking is, normals are selected, so I should be able to press bake and get the result. But unfortunately, nothing happens. So at first, I thought it was just a glitch in baking, because that's quite common, and kept trying different things, but found that actually, you can't bake like this. But luckily, someone out there has created a wonderful node that does the job for us. The way I found this was on Blender Nation, and this person, David Gieri, has created a node for us. I'll put the link in the description for this, so his link is just here, baking normal maps from Cycles Materials, and you have to click and download the normal to map dot blend. And they go on to give information about how to do this, just here, which is very handy. So let's go back to Blender and try that. So I'm in Blender again. I need to go to File Append to bring that node in. So File Append, find my normal to map dot blend, and go to Material, and there's our material a pen from library, and now I should have access to that material. And there it is, material.001. I can then copy these, control C, paste them into my other material with control V. I'll just grab them and move them down here. And I don't need this one because this is my texture that I'm baking to. But I need to plug in from the normals here and the emission to the surface output. So my bump map, with these two combined, is going into this special node, into an emission, and then into the material output. And it will end up being on this texture here. So make sure you have that selected. Then we can go back to our bake, but we do need to change this to emit, and press bake. And for some reason that didn't work, let's just quickly try that again. Make sure my material's selected, and press bake. It's often a bit glitchy like this. And that is the beauty of the glitchiness of cycles. And there we have it. So now if I save this and plug this normals into my normals, I can move this all out the way. And of course I need to go through a normal map, so I'll duplicate this one and put it in there. Now when I hook my principal shader up, it will look exactly the same. So well done to David, thank you very much for that. So remember, you're going from your combined bump into David's special normal map mode, into the emission, and then into the material output. And lastly, make sure you have your normal map selected to bake to. One thing to remember is keep this to non-color data. 
even when you're baking to it. Apparently that makes a difference. Okay, I hope that wasn't too confusing and I hope that helps.